Sao Paulo. No problem having fun here, but what about staying safe? We already got the safety guide from Rio. What's the situation in Brazil's biggest city? Welcome to Sao Paulo, the mega city of Brazil that perhaps should be its capital but for some reason isn't. So, how dangerous is Sao Paulo? Well, to be fully honest, I've only been here four to five times, I am not an expert. Let's leave that judgment to the locals. <laughs> First off, this is a city of a thousand faces and the way you travel determines what kind of situations you run into. One difference from Rio, the safe and dodgy areas are a bit more separated, making it easier to predict potential hazards. Let's do this area by area, starting with the one you're most likely to spend time in, Villa Madalena. This whole place is designed for the young, trendy and reasonably wealthy and the percentage of tourists is higher than anywhere else in town. The only risk here is paying too much for that cool bohemian necklace. After dusk, this becomes one of Sao Paulo's major party hubs and the density of hip restaurants is just ridiculous. Sao Paulo, seguro or no? No. Brazilian nightlife is all about laughing, dancing and talking. The vibe will be laid back and welcoming. Don't hesitate to join the Villa Madalena party solo. I'd even encourage you to do so. It's often more fun. Is Sao Paulo safe? Yes. <laughs> Depending also of the area you are, Sao Paulo old city center is where you should be more careful. I, I would advise you always keep your things in front of you and be careful with everything. All in all, Villa Madalena is very safe. Just avoid walking home alone if you're a drunk gringo. These two areas next to Villa Madalena are popular among travelers who want to save a few dollars on their lodging. Pinheiros is a wealthy neighborhood and you're basically safe to roam around wherever you want. Although there's really not that much to see. Same with nearby Villa Olympia. Flashy but pretty boring. Is Sao Paulo safe or not? Yes. It depends on the area where you're walking through. It could be a little sketchy, but we also have a lot of culture and character people around here. So, and also you're with me, so you don't have to worry about it. Sao Paulo, seguro or not? Yeah, Mais seguro que Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> At night, Jardim Paulista has its own local party scene. This was supposed to be a quiet night, but seems I paid for the open bar. Yes, that's common here. You pay entrance, but you drink for that whole sum in the bar. I don't know why there's a storm wind here. I guess it's part of the experience. Just a friendly reminder, the gay scene is big in Sao Paulo and chances are you might walk into one of these by mistake. Chances are also you'll have a lot of fun. Ah, oh, that's a little expensive. Oh no, it's all free because I paid for it. Yes. Perfectly safe areas, both of them. This main avenue was probably the first place in the city you saw a photo of. Walking it is an absolute must, and you've got plenty of cool architecture to see along the way. 
there are some pickpockets around, so mind your wallets, although traffic will be your biggest concern. No risk whatsoever to get hurt. This is an area without clear borders in the immediate vicinity of Avenida Paulista. It's also where people come to drink, smoke and make out. A little less refined than Villa Madalena and perhaps a bit wilder. In the past, this area was mainly associated with prostitution but has got a major facelift and is now a hipster hub. <laughs> Don't walk the side streets alone at night. Some parts are still kind of seedy. Sao Paulo is dangerous or no? No, Sao Paulo is good. You were robbed? Yes, for 4 years, I was robbed here. I was robbed, never, never. If you want action, keep in mind that some people might consume more than just alcohol. Sao Paulo, seguro or no? Yes, depending on where you are. People are bad in all lados. It's the vibe that attracts you. Sao Paulo, seguro or no? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Sao Paulo, it's good. This area deserves a visit during daytime as well. Feel free to walk the streets without a worry in the world, enjoying all that amazing urban art. Just don't flash your phone for everyone. This is one of the best areas to really feel Sao Paulo. And it's also safe. Not far is one of Sao Paulo's cultural hotspots. A proper place to get that stunning view over this enormous metropolis. At night, this area goes through a change. Although it's still pretty to look at and offers a range of cool bars to visit, don't wander off mindlessly to some side street. Take a taxi straight to the place you're going. I mean, better safe than sorry. From now on, no more caipirinhas, only orange juice. <laughs> General tip, thieves are usually not the muscular guy in a bandana. It's a kid. If you see a group of them, be extra alert. Anyways, what do people in Rio think of safety here? Sao Paulo, seguro or no? É. Mais ou menos. Mais seguro que Rio ou não? Mais seguro que o Rio. <laughs> não conheço muito de São Paulo, mas eu acho que ainda mais seguro que no Rio. Isso é muito bom. <laughs> yeah. It's safe. Providing that you are careful with your items and where you are going. I've never had a negative experience yet. Uh, until that time, I will make sure that anything expensive will be hidden away. And yeah, just don't be a target. Unfortunately, poverty is a major concern in Sao Paulo. And sadly, some of the central historical parts are in poor shape and ridden with social problems. There's so much nice architecture around, but it's simply a bit complicated for a tourist walking around enjoying it. So be a little careful around here. Don't do this. You will get noticed showing off your camera or your fancy iPhone. And if you visit the market at 25 de Marzo when it's actually open, beware of pickpockets. Safest option in the area is Mercado Municipal, the central market. Take the taxi straight to the main entrance and wait for your taxi right at the entrance when you leave. But not before you sit down and enjoy the second floor restaurants. So my tour is with Rafaela. She says when you're in Sao Paulo, hello. Hello. You have to try this sandwich over here. Best sandwich ever. And things just keep getting better up here. What a caipirinha! What a caipirinha! Here it is! Here 
is the famous sandwich and it's enormous. This is for one person, by the way. I highly recommend a visit, but unfortunately not the safest area. Ever been to Japan? Well, you don't have to. It's right here in the middle of Sao Paulo. Enjoy some authentic Japanese culture and the best noodles in town. This place gets crowded on weekends, so to avoid thieves, visit on a weekday. Once again, back to Rio. Sao Paulo, seguro ou não? É seguro. É muito mais que Rio, muito mais seguro. So, would you say Sao Paulo is safe or not? No. No? No. It's not safe? No. Why, why is it not safe? Sao Paulo, seguro ou não? No. No, it's seguro? No, Sao Paulo é. É seguro? Sao Paulo é. Não, não, não. Não. <laughs> Here's a place you might not stumble upon. This square is a popular pre-party spot for the young, with a few great bars next to it. There's also a lot of people smoking weed safe enough for a visit, but take a taxi here. I hate this so much. What do you like in São Paulo? So many things. It's a big city, there's always something to do here. Every day you can go out to a new place, there's always people around. There's always something fun happening. Welcome to São Paulo. Well, I think the numbers speak for themselves. People feel reasonably safe visiting and living in Sao Paulo, especially compared to Rio. As long as you come prepared and keep your eyes open, there is little to worry about. Just one last piece of advice. Use the metro as often as you can. It beats Sao Paulo traffic every time. But when you do, keep your valuables secured. It's the main hunting ground for pickpockets. And most important, if you're unlucky enough to get robbed, don't resist. That fast and painless hit and run could turn ugly fast if you fight back. The criminals seldom work alone and you will be outnumbered. That's it. Get over here and have some fun. I'll keep serving the best stuff from this amazing country and some other places. Thanks for watching and be safe.